Dianne Feinstein, one of the most influential women in U.S. political history, has died at age 90. The trailblazing Democratic senator leaves a massive, if slightly complicated, legacy. She was the longest serving woman in the Senate's 234 year history, representing California since 1992. In her three plus decades as a senator, Feinstein made a name for herself as an advocate for abortion access and gun reform. One of her legislative achievements was authoring the 1994 federal ban on assault weapons, a law she fought to revive for nearly two decades after it expired in 2004 during the Bush administration. We should be outraged by how easy it is for perpetrators of these horrific crimes to obtain powerful military style weapons. She also served in a leadership capacity on several Senate committees, such as intelligence, judiciary, and rules, at a time when very few women senators had ever done so. Before entering the Senate, Feinstein was also a trailblazer on the local level. She was a member of San Francisco's Board of Supervisors from 1970 through 1978, serving alongside LGBTQIA plus rights icon Harvey Milk, and became its first woman president in 1978. She was one of the first to discover Milk's body after he was fatally shot by his former co-worker Dan White. It's my duty to make this announcement. Both Mayor Moscone and Supervisor Harvey Milk have been shot and killed. White also fatally shot then-Mayor George Moscone, leading to Feinstein's appointment as mayor. She was San Francisco's first woman mayor, a position she held until 1988. The deaths of Milk and Moscone deeply influenced her lifelong crusade against gun violence. I've seen assassination, I've seen killing, I've been a mayor, I know what these guns can do. However, in recent years, Feinstein's health declined, which led to larger conversations about the role of gerontocracy in U.S. politics. In 2019, a video of Feinstein seemingly dismissing a group of young climate activists went viral, with many critics saying it highlighted the gap between older politicians and younger generations that will inherit the world they leave behind. There were also several public instances where Feinstein seemed unable to perform the basic duties of her Senate role. Yeah, just say I. Okay, just... I. However, while these incidents bear mentioning, they do not overshadow the full scope of her pioneering career and legacy. In 1992, when Feinstein joined the Senate, she was one of just four women in the entire chamber. Today, there are 24 in addition to Feinstein herself, showcasing her lasting impact. Though imperfect, her barrier-breaking tenure served as a model for civic participation. Her absence leaves a void, but her legacy propels those who follow.